Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to revisit the bell peppers that I grow hydroponically in the garage. Don't want you to think it's all a piece of cake because we were hit by an infestation of spider mites. They nubbed the plants down, nearly killed one of them that's just now coming back. But anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about the problems that you're going to have with them. Just don't want you to think it's going to be easy as pie and you can have bell peppers growing all the time. So stay tuned while we talk about the infestation. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now, as you've seen in our ebb and flow setup, it gets filled every hour. It gets four minutes of fill, four minutes of drain, and the solution is all maintained in a reservoir. You know, here we are in the middle of a fill cycle here, but during the process with the lights on 24 day, we got an infestation of spider mites. And because we had shields and all up around it, we really couldn't look into the you know area where the plants were growing once they got started they ate the plants they put webs on the plant and they pretty much just about killed one of the plants now what you can do to prevent them is what we ended up doing was we had to get rid of them we took the plants outside hosed them down with soap and water and then we rinsed them with a water spray fairly hard to knock them off left them outside for a couple days and it was amazing how in just an hour or so the ladybugs discovered the spider mites on the plant and they came to munch these little guys will eat about a hundred per hour and as you can see now they've been eradicated of the spider mites that they were on and they're back in the hydroponic grow we're getting little peppers here and on the other plant we're actually producing flowers as well as some peppers that are starting to grow and there's the big plant that's been growing for over almost two years now it's been with 24 hours of light so it doesn't know anything about winter yet and here's my cat just loves to come in and get in my way and look to see everything that i'm doing while well, hopscotch is so curious about the water especially when it gets near the top of the fill cycle and we start getting air bubbles from the reservoir he just thinks those are fascinating not so much now munching on the bell peppers so ladies and gentlemen i didn't want you to think that hydroponically growing in your garage away from the weather and the outside you'd be free of pests because somehow i guess with the light on 24 hours a day they would come in and they got established on the plants and they went crazy the plants are recovering but again we hope you found all of this useful and informative. If you ever think of venturing into this, there are sprays you can spray the plants with, insecticides, and a leaf blower is good for blowing the gnats out that they're carried on. So, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day flying or grumming. Enjoy this little additional chapter of Bell Pepper Madness. And here's a little bit of the fun I get to see in the wee hours of night when I'm working. The cat's just scooting through the area.